Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that we got to do this and share this with, uh, with the folks tonight. You know, this is Artists at the Center. For me, um, even though I was asked to be the Artist at the Center, I feel like I, I took it as a really great opportunity to just really highlight and share with audiences the vast, vast expression of tap dancing that's happening today, you know? Um, and I... I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be able to, for everybody to get a little sort of smorgasbord of what is happening right now, you know, in the tap scene. Today was our first day with the full company uh, all together. So today was like especially thrilling and having the opportunity for everyone to come together and to see each other's work and to share it with people who have not been a part of the process was also really exciting. So the, I just feel so um, encouraged I'm so excited, and today was very special. It's interesting, assembling this group of people was actually a lot easier than maybe one might expect. You know, we have 10 choreographers, uh, myself included, uh, as part of the program. But for me, I lean on um, community. I lean on what our tradition is, and that is that we, um, gosh, like once we're in our shoes, we're like, we're in life together for a lifetime. And so I selected folks that I've known since they were young, young, young. I selected um, artists that I know have really uh, established a, a, a career and a path for themselves as it relates to this art form. And I wanted to pay together those um, those voices along with the the genius the genius um, young tap dancers that are that are coming up today so it was very easy to think about Michelle Dorrance and Dario Nadarelli you know and then Caleb uh, Teicher and Naomi Funaki and of course like myself and Amanda Castro um, and, and Jared Alexander and Tomoe you know and Brenna Alley and Gerson Lanza like it was just um, it, it was a dream to kind of come together for this in this way incredibly blessed to, um, and grateful and I think it's such a privilege to be able to share your art with um, I don't know just every, for all audiences not just uh, concert dance audiences but also Broadway audiences and I'm so excited that you know eight times a week funny girl <laughs> folks you know get to see um, Eddie's tap and Jared Grimes kill it and and um, and Leah Michelle currently just like you know um, I don't know representing tap dance so beautifully and I don't know I think this is just like another side of uh, the, the, the nitty gritty of what we do, you know? Audiences can expect to feel joy, to sort of like be able to take this big exhale and just relax into uh, the experience, to feel welcomed, to feel like um, all of us are in community together and it's an experience that we're sharing together. Um, and hopefully, uh, the, the, the idea of legacy and belonging and all of the themes in where we dwell will resonate with people and they will um, feel closer to the people they want to honor in their own lives and the people whose footsteps they walk in. 
I think everybody wants to tap dance. I, people, I think that all audiences love tap dancing, whether it's Broadway audiences or concert da dance audiences or people who are just like living their lives on the train and they happen to see somebody busking. I believe that tap dancing is like one of those things that brings so much joy to everybody who like comes in contact with it. So what I'm really most looking forward to is audiences really uh, uh, having their, their, their curiosity and their love for it awakened again.